Okay, good morning everybody. I'm going to show you how Pat and I make our breakfast bowls with all of our food in jars. Remember, we've got all these food in jars that we keep in the refrigerator. We do that with our jar swap. Um, like to keep cooked potatoes, uh, cooked broccoli, cooked cauliflower, blanched I mean, cooked beans. This morning's going to be a little bit of a Mexican bowl. And uh, the first thing we want to do is crisp up our potatoes. So we're going to add some of our potatoes to it and uh, get those a little bit crispy. And uh, these are already cooked, so they don't have to uh, cook completely, so it'll be fairly fast. And um, I did chop up some fresh garlic as you can see fairly big um, pieces so we'll put that in and we're going to add some chopped onion white onion that's all we got right now we're going to sort of make this uh, similar to migas that you get uh, at restaurants We've torn up some corn tortillas. We'll put that in at the very end. Okay. And now we'll start adding our other ingredients. Chopped up a bunch of mushrooms, so we're going to add some mushrooms. And, of course, can't do anything without red bells. I wish I had some pombano peppers chopped up. Don't have any of those, so you have to go without that. And we've got some carrots. Add a few carrots. Those are completely raw, so they might take a little bit longer to cook. Okay. And I've also got some fresh sliced collard greens out of the garden. We're going to add that. Those have not been cooked, so we'll need to wilt those a little bit. And some fresh jalapeno. Those do have the seeds in them, so we don't need much for the, of those. have a few more sweet potatoes I need to use up. Notice how I've got the date on the jars, so that tells me when I uh, chop them up. Usually I'll smell something before I use it, and uh, most of the vegetables, beans, and grains will stay good for about a week. And if they start to smell sort of funky, I'll rinse them off with water, drain them, and uh, rinse them a few times, and if they're still good, then uh, they'll last a few more days. Okay, what else do we want in here? Let's add a little bit of zucchini and squash. This also came in our jar swap. And I'm going to add a few grape tomatoes. the mixture. Okay, that's good. I'm going to pour a little bit of water. Noticed as of yet I haven't had any water in there, any kind of liquid. Just sort of dry sauteing everything, heating it up. I'm going to add just a little bit of water because I want to sort of steam the collard greens and get them a little bit soft. And put that on it. Let it cook for a while. 
a lot of this morning. I'm going to flavor it up with salsa. We get the gigantic uh, one from Walmart, uh, 70 ounces. And that lasts us for a couple weeks. And while I'm waiting for that to cook, I'm going to show you a few of our other favorite items. Okay, liquid aminos, which is um, same thing as soy sauce and tamari. Uh, great for flavoring uh, Chinese and Asian dishes. Another thing that we use a lot of is uh, Ibu and Vin flavored vinegars. And this one is blueberry. And we put that directly on our salads instead of using oil. Okay, let's check this and oh yeah, much better. Greens are starting to wilt. And that added water. Oh, you can smell those jalapenos. Okay, let's see what other things we need to put in here now. Onions, we need to add some beans. Black beans would have been really good, but I didn't have any, so we'll add some kidney beans. That's our protein. Your mushrooms are good protein as well. So that's looking pretty good. And now we'll put in, I've torn up two corn tortillas. Since I don't really have any grains to add, I've, I'm out of all my brown rice. Okay, we're gonna put in our corn tortillas. Give it a little bit of grain. Make sure when you choose your corn tortillas that they don't have any added oil. I found these at Walmart actually, and uh, no added oil in those. So, uh, Guerrero for your tortillas. All right, now I'm gonna let it simmer, add a little bit more water, let it simmer a little bit more before we add our salsa. And really that's the last thing we're gonna do. Oh no, forgot one of the most important things have a bunch of fresh cilantro out in the garden. In fact, if you need cilantro, come on over and knock on my door. We've got plenty to share. Cilantro. No need to take the leaves off. We just put all of it in there. Just cut up the stems and the leaves all together. And cilantro counts as one of those greens. Okay, cilantro. Now, we're gonna put in our salsa. And um, Pat, if you wanna chop up that avocado, it's gonna be the last thing that we put on it. Okay, so there we have our migas. A little bit of pepper. And the salsa already has salt in it, so before you add any salt, I would taste it first, because chances are it probably doesn't need any additional salt. That good flavoring of the cilantro. If you wanna make this really special, you can squeeze a fresh lime on top of this. And uh, that is a great breakfast. I think we will squeeze a little bit of lime on top of that. Put that on low. fresh lime juice and Pat's getting the avocado and we got breakfast ready to go y'all enjoy